Hey everyone, welcome to Running Retro. Today we are going to be doing a disassembly and reassembly of a Super Nintendo controller. So you may want to do this if you want to clean the contacts or repad the controller uh, or just maybe clean the whole thing. So here you go, this is the step. Flip the sucker upside down. <clears throat> you have your five screws on the back. and pop these suckers out don't worry if one doesn't want to come out too much you once you get the majority of them it'll be pretty easy to to slip the last out NES controllers can be a little stubborn for that. So a little more complicated than the NES, but not too bad. <clears throat> so keep in mind how this wire runs through, up, over, and down. And be aware of the two shoulder buttons. So what I like to do is pop the wire and then gently lift the PCB out. And that's it. Just... You don't want to tug too hard, but you can just sort of slide it out. Here you have your pads, so you can remove those, remove the center pad, your directional, and your four buttons. And then you have your shoulder contact, your other shoulder contact, and this is something to be a little bit careful about. These come out, but they are on these little poles. So you want to make sure that you keep in mind where those poles are. Now, one neat thing here is that uh, you have a right and a left, and they're labeled. But don't forget when you're putting them back on that it's a mirror image. So this is the right, this is the left. It's actually labeled on if you look a little closer it's labeled in here now you'll see that it does have labels for like red yellow green all those those are the super famicom uh colors so you can't do that uh you can't rely on that here it does have purple and lavender outlined as well though so it does actually remind you of where all of the items are these these things are really cool but that's how you disassemble the controller. So to put it back together, I tend to start with my buttons. And they're pretty easy to put back in because the notches very clearly line up. Uh, and that's, that's pretty self-explanatory. You just need to make sure that you are lining them up in such a way that they will slip into each hole. So that was nice and easy. There's your D-pad, there's your buttons, that's always a little bit stubborn but it goes around that post right down here. Your four buttons, these two posts line up those buttons. What I like to do here is I take my shoulder pads and I put them down in there, or my, my shoulder uh, button rods, and slide them into their post there, so you can see that there. Put my contact buttons in, slide my right and left on. And then I take this, use the center post here to line it up, and then I'm going to pull these out so it's a little more obvious. When these are all the way down, you can take the right and the left and just slide it down in there like that. Make sure that they're all the way in. Run your cable. Now this is the tricky part. If you use these two posts, you can line them up here on 
the top. And that's the easiest way I've found to make sure that everything is going back together smoothly. Uh, so you can see that, yep, yeah, okay, there we go. And it just it just clicks. So now I've got it all the way around. I do like to drop all of the screws in here, and I like to hold it a little elevated like this. That way there's kind of no, uh, there's nowhere for the controller to pop back out. And then once I get a couple screws screwed in and down, then I'm less worried about it. I mentioned this the other time as well, and I'll mention this every time we do one of these videos, but you want to screw the screws down until you just feel them tighten up a little bit. From my experience on the Super Nintendo controllers, these screws strip out more often than on the other controllers. And I don't know if that's just a Super Nintendo thing, or whether the plastic is a little cheaper or what, but I have noticed uh, more stripped out Super Nintendo controllers. It could just be use. Uh, you know, people did love their Super Nintendo controllers, so there's that. And that is how you disassemble and reassemble a Super Nintendo controller. This also works for the Famicom, uh, for the Super Famicom, sorry. So if you're looking for the process, this is the exact same thing. You can actually take this cord, unplug it from a Super Nintendo controller, and plug it into a Super Famicom controller if you want to have the 6-foot cord instead of the 3-foot cord. So keep that in mind. If you want to modify your system, you like the Super Famicom controller more than the Super Nintendo controller, I do personally, then you can swap out that longer cable uh, very, very easily as long as you can find one of those cables. And they're not that hard to find. You can, you can order replacements for those as well. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if there's something else that you would like to see based on this or if you have any questions. And check us out. Check out our streaming schedule. We will be streaming three days a week on YouTube and two days a week on Twitch. So come check that out. Uh, we are going to be putting a little bit more up on our website too. Uh, it is a work in progress, but check that out for sort of a one-stop shop. And check out our social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. And we will see you soon. Thanks very much.